tell the world again Oh, you're so beautiful I just can't hold it in I think we started something I hope it never ends I hope Hope it never ends So we're out here at the Foundry I'm here with Amy And Amy is the venue manager And what do you do here? Um, I help run the facility So I make sure that um, everything that runs smoothly for the venue, make sure doors are unlocked, really any venue questions for the um, caterers or vendors or anyone that comes in, even for the clients. I make sure that um, I meet with clients about three months ahead of time uh, before their event to set out layouts, uh, timelines, just make sure that they're ready to go when they come here. So if a wedding couple or bride is looking for a venue for their wedding, what's the process that they go through with you? The process with me, first, if you wanted to have the foundry for your venue, you would contact um, Powered by Bliss mm -hmm. and you meet with a sales rep and from there, you, I, I pretty much get you around three months before your wedding. Mm -hmm. So there's a sales team that you work with first and then you come to um, either me or there's two other girls as well that are venue event managers and we work with the bride, the groom or any other clients that come here for the venue three months before their event. What's so special about the Foundry? Why should someone pick this for their destination wedding? It's a beautiful place. It's really unlike any other in the sense that you have a promenade that looks out over the river. Mm -hmm. um, it's clean, it's newer, it has a really nice feel, it's more intimate. Um, you can have a much smaller event here. You have a little bit more versatility so you can have an indoor or an outdoor venue. How does that help having a professional DJ on the day of somebody's wedding? Where is that beneficial? It's so beneficial in many ways because you have someone that can facilitate whether it's just to keep the event going and seeing you need to have good music to really keep the event going and anyone can plug into a system but a DJ and an MC really keeps the party going keeps the feel it's just more of a party feel mm -hmm. and it just keeps in my opinion as an event coordinator and even as an event manager it just seems to have the event run more smoothly and more professionally. We have the outside and then you have downstairs, um, people are gathering there for cocktail hour. Mm -hmm. Why is it important to have multiple speakers you know, across the room? Because the DJ is all the way in the back of the room and across the room it's a pretty long distance. Mm -hmm. And then you got people outside, possibly downstairs. If we didn't have speakers outside, downstairs, how could that uh, be a problem for the bridegroom? Not necessarily music, but making sure that it wouldn't, I say announcements, like if we didn't have that equipment, how would that create a problem for a bride and groom? Well, for one, a bride and groom pays a lot of money. I mean, there's a lot of money and a lot of time and effort that goes into their event. And so when they hire professional DJs, they are expecting professional sound and you need to have everyone to be able to hear the music. It, it's just, it creates a better surround sound. It creates just a better attention for everyone. To get everyone's attention, it's just a better flow for the event. Um, during the daytime, it's very beautiful and very bright in there, but during the dance, it gets pretty dark. Mm -hmm. How does uh, up lighting help our spotlights on the dance floor? How does that help the overall feel and how does that kind of set the mood of the room? It's, I think it's crucial. I think not only, I mean, like you said, it sets the feel, it really adds to the theme. So with colors and there's the, you know, the different lighting that you may offer for coloring, it just adds to the overall feel and the overall event. And I think it helps too because it adds extra lighting um, rather than having the overhead lighting so that people can still see what they're doing and still dance. And, right. But it's it either... still gives it a good dance feel without just having bright white lights. Exactly. Room. It's not as classic for a wedding, but it's not that club feel mm -hmm. and it's either too bright or too dark and it's very uncomfortable feeling when you have it super dark. So if a bride wanted to um, book a wedding here, take a tour, where can they find you at and how would they uh, book a tour to check this place out? So you can go on to thefoundry.com, um, you can either email or you can um, call the sales office and they'll set up a tour. You can come in, have a tour and then the process really just you know, after the tour, you can book and then go from there. Mm -hmm. so. How does it help working with vendors that you worked with in the past? What do you know to expect? What's uh, any new challenges? Where is it, you know, beneficial working with somebody that you've worked with in the past? It's it's extremely beneficial. I, I really prefer working with people that I've worked with that I know that, I mean, because I know what to expect from them and they know what to expect from me and they know what to expect from the venue. No surprises. No surprises. <laughs> 